burnout is not a result of working too hard? What if burnout is actually a result of too little impact? You know, what can we do to increase our impact without working harder? Now, to understand why some people get stuck going through the motions while other people tend to, to break through, my team and I interviewed 170 managers in nine leading companies, and we asked each one of those managers to identify two contributors. Now, the first was someone who was smart, capable, hardworking, and doing well, doing a great job. The second was someone who was smart, capable, hardworking, and making an enormous impact. These are the people that I call the impact players. Now, there's a couple things that jumped out at me right away. The first is that the managers estimated that these impact players were contributing value that was three and a half times greater than the ordinary contributors, those who were doing really a great job. And the other thing that really struck me is how these managers described these ordinary contributors. They said things like, you know, they did their job, they did it well, they did it extremely well even. They, they followed direction, they followed their leader. They took ownership for things and they were focused. And they were focused on goals and they carried their weight on teams. Now, when I heard this, I thought, well, isn't this in a lot of ways an ideal team player? But why is it that these contributors who were doing their job so well, doing so many of the things we value, weren't having an impact? And why were these impact players achieving so much more without working any harder? See, in ordinary times, these ordinary contributors were stellar. But in extraordinary times, they fell short in times of uncertainty and ambiguity.